talks of a regeneration in progress. Could this mean a brighter future for Grimsby? As an East Marsh Ward councillor, I'm very keen on seeing the docks regenerated uh, in my role as a ward councillor. Uh, obviously, I would like to see this building saved in many respects, I would do, but obviously I don't want it to be a barrier to the regeneration of this area. In 1997, the building was listed as Grade 2 on the English Heritage At-Risk Register, and the majority of the community is back in the project. Civic Society opinions have been a bit divided. There are over 200 members in the Civic Society, so of course it's going to be difficult in any organisation to get everybody to agree. There's hope among some that at long last the region could gain a space for showcasing art. I think the Ice Factory presents a tremendous opportunity to this area. It's a, a large and very significant um, industrial building in the same way that um, there were large, significant industrial buildings in London and Newcastle where they made the Baltic Museum and the Tate Modern. If the ice factory was restored, it could mean a brighter future for Grimsby. The decision is yet to be made, but what do you think? Well, looking at it, I think it's time, you know, yes. to let it, let yeah, but it, it go. was on a film as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on a film. <laughs> the machinery and the building are one, and they're both in such a sad and sorry state that to remove the build the machinery would mean demolishing the building, and I think that that is the way it's going to go. Uh, there is nothing there, or very little, to save. It is currently owned by Associated British Ports, who inherited the building in 1990. It was supposed to be demolished, but English Heritage gave it a two-star grade listing, preventing this. Without funding from outside parties, no progress will be made. I have come to the view, personally, that uh, the ice factory has to go. Uh, and I think partly because it's uh, in such a mess, ABP has allowed it to disintegrate and decay and most of the thing is in, in ruins. Proposals have been made for regeneration of the building as part of an entire overhaul of the dock area, but this has been considered unrealistic by many. The amount of infrastructure work that would be needed initially to, you know, to, to get uh, people on and off to a, a newly redeveloped dock estate runs into many millions. So I, I think we have to accept that perhaps uh, its time is now past. You've, you've got jobs to create in Grimsby. And Grimsby people come before an old ice making factory. Grimsby people come first. You've got to think of the up and coming generation. They've got no work. There's, the skills are going out of the town, generate skills and everything in the town. That's what I say. It's not as though it's, it resembles anything that it was. It's just a pile of bricks and I think it should be brought down and put to some good use.